chapter. I want to talk about the chapter, right? Um, specifically, oh. Kaido's statement on hockey and, hockey and Devil statement. Fruits. Yeah, let's talk about that. So, hockey versus Devil Fruits. You know, I got to make the title that just for the clickbait. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that. that <laughs> um, but what is, what is your mindset on on Kaido's words when it came to? Uh, his statement for hockey now just before before we talk about it i'm gonna open up the viz app real quick just to read yep. verbatim what he said what so we says. so we know yeah, what we know what we're basing it off of um yep. so he says play all the games you want but yep. abilities alone cannot conquer the world the world yes. is convenient that way roger didn't have any fruit powers because only hockey can transcend all and and then this nigga hits him with that thunder bagua yeah. wisdom, wisdom, wisdom king bagua yeah so uh, how do you how do y'all feel about his words do y'all trust kaido's words do y'all feel like he's basically saying that like look devil fruit i mean devil fruits are powerful but those alone aren't what can conquer the world Hockey is what you need. Like hockey's most important. How do y'all feel about that? Thing is, right. So Shanks, Shanks has been number one for me for a couple of years now. So uh, for for a while. So obviously, if, on initial thought, I was like, well, this just this just wank Shanks. So I'm gas for it. But on a rethink and having re reread through Act Three over the last uh, couple of days, I actually don't know if I trust uh, Kaido's bias for hockey right now. And the reason why I say this is Kaido specifically obviously targets Zo and Devil Fruits. So he has a Devil Fruit preference from that perspective. And yet if you look at his top five, which is next, you know, next episode as we're talking about, uh, three out of the five are confirmed non-Devil Fruit users. And only one out of the five are confirmed Devil Fruit users. So the only confirmed Devil Fruit user in the five people that... that Kaido saw behind Luffy, who again wasn't showing great Haki control at that moment in time, he was showing great devil fruit abilities, uh, was Whitebeard. There was only one confirmed Haki, uh, one confirmed devil fruit user there. So this whole distinction that Kaido keeps making between fruits and Haki, to me, I feel like this is some kind of bias which is playing into coming into play here because th there's certain things that just don't add up and they don't make sense okay okay so explain explain uh the, the bias well the, the bias seems to be that from what i can understand is that kaido feels that there's a ceiling that you can't breach mm. without without a certain level of hockey right but mm. at the same at the same time he's actively not trying to take that route and We've already seen the fact that, for example, Law has said this arc, I can't use my fruit of power, I can't use my fruit abilities on them because uh, their hockey's too strong. And yet the moment he awakened, guess what? He could absolutely just wreck Big Mom. So that whole bullshit that he spewed about how I can't use my fruit's abilities on them, that got wrecked the moment he used Awakening. Luffy's Awakening has been doing more damage to Kaido than any Conqueror's Infusion attack that he's done. And as far as we understand it right now, he's not actively using Conqueror's Infusion because we've only seen the black gloss, you know, advanced Conqueror, uh, advanced, uh, not even advanced, just uh, armament hardening has only appeared in the last chapter in his arms. Like, so he technically he wasn't even using hardening, let alone advanced forms of Haki before. So the, the, the thing for me is that there seems to be this, this, uh, disconnect in what Kaido's saying and what we've been seeing. Awakening doesn't seem to play by these rules. Hmm, okay, okay. So you think that hockey and and overall is, is over devil fruits, but when it comes to devil fruit awakenings, it can it can match a high hockey level. Yeah. Mm, I think that makes sense and to me that makes sense really because the first thing i thought of when he said this was law mm. that was the first thought i had because not saying law doesn't have hockey we know law does but his fruit like the way that he uses his awakening you don't need hockey for that you don't need you don't need like his shit is internal so i feel like in certain 
circumstances, a Devil Fruit Awakening can match someone with, with, with high hockey. Which is why I feel like once Luffy gets full control and full like capability with his awakening, yep. he's going to be a problem. Because now he has very good hockey, literally has mm. every form of hockey we know. And he has a very busted awakening too that he can control fully. That's scary. I feel like the only reason why right now, like, you got to give Kaido credit. You know, Kaido is just a very strong fighter. He's got he's got very good hockey. He also has every hockey that we've seen so far. Like, <laughs> he's yeah, he's yeah. a very he has a very strong double fruit. Uh, to me, I don't know if he's gonna pull out and awaken or if he's already awakening and, and using it. And I don't know. I really don't know. That's a whole nother conversation, but. Yep. You got to give him credit. You got to get credit where credit is due. And I feel like the reason why Kaido still has more in the tank, it seems like, and it seems like he's doing better is because it's due to his power, his prowess, his experience in fights. I feel like that that is giving him the edge in this. But I I, I agree with you. I don't think that... I, I think hockey for is not the end-all, be-all in every facet when, it, when you bring in something like Awakening. When it comes to regular Devil Fruit, sure. Somebody is a somebody with advanced conqueror is going to beat up a regular zone. Yes, of course. Yeah, but that, right. that that's just the gap in power. But when you yeah. bring somebody in with an awakening that has maximized their devil fruit to a whole nother level, it's like yeah. okay, hold on, this is a this is a better argument. Yeah, because in my it, mind, it, I think Aikainu and Alkizi are awakened. That, that's that's at least my yeah. my speculation on it, just due to the climate the change. Yeah, the implication yeah. to me with their fight is that they might be awakened and i feel like it makes sense if the admirals don't have advanced conquerors i think i kind of does i'm under your assumption yeah, i kind of does but yeah. if I'll the other if the other ones 21. but if the other ones don't but they're awakened it still makes sense that awakenings yeah. could match somebody with with high hockey they're admirals you know exactly. what i mean so yeah yeah, and not, and not only that, you know, we, we've seen this whole parallel between uh, power level for, for uh, you know, I don't like that word, but anyway, that term, but uh, the whole the, the, the discrepancy between Haki and, and Devil Fruits, we, we've already seen it pretty much from the moment Haki was introduced to the series, you know, the Amazon, Amazon Lily, you know, the Kuja Pirates, the Kuja, the, the Amazons, they're famous Haki users. Guess what? Luffy beats everyone on that island apart from Boa when he doesn't even know what Haki is. Just because he has great control over his fruit and he's already developed his gears by that point in time. So he goes up against somebody who's using uh, uh, what appears to be now Future Sight. Although that's that's still up for debate. But anyway, at the very least, we know he's going up against Observation Haki and he's going up against Armament Haki and he wins the fight. So a Devil Fruit versus a Haki user in that situation has already been proven to be, in some cases, in a Devil Fruit, in a Devil Fruit user's uh, favor. We have other situations where a Haki user has beaten Devil Fruits, which are known examples as well in the series. So the whole the whole dichotomy between the powers has kind of been there from the start, and 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 they've always had this play off of each other where it's not necessarily which one you use, it's how well developed you are in it. You know, if you're an advanced user of any of the three forms of Haki, you should absolutely dominate the average Devil Fruit user, because even if they're a low, you know, Enol, Enol versus Katakuri, Enol does not touch Katakuri, like doesn't come close, right? But Enol versus, I don't know, it's like the, somebody who knows hardening, Enol should still win that fight. It's yeah, it's it's just the whole. Um, yeah, and again, you, you get like we've been seeing so many awake, so many more awakenings recently. You know, Law, Law's awakening would beat the average Logia clean, <laughs> like he doesn't even come close. Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah. Law's and awakening also, is disgusting, and, and it would also be the average. Uh, you know, just because you know Rio, you know, you, you know the the, uh, the 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 scabbards. They they use an advanced form of Haki. How many of them are beating? an admiral or coming up against you know going up against a low gear and, and coming out on top <laughs> not many <laughs> like so i yeah i feel like yeah. I, I definitely feel like Kai, kaido's take is biased yeah well um, i do d, d money uh let me read these two super chats real quick and you can leave these in uh editor when you edit it 
uh, because they're relevant to the conversation. D Money says, uh, thank you for the $10, says, Kato receives excuses for not being at full power versus Luffy. But shouldn't the more, the more credit go to Luffy for learning and adapting mid-fight with a new skill? How tired is an adult fighting against kids? I think that, I think that, I'm not going to say that Kato shouldn't get uh, the excuses he does. And, because, like, like, they make sense. Sometimes when people say things like, um kaido you know has been fighting all day we have to still give him credit for that we can't just be like you don't get any credit and the dude has literally been fighting everybody bro fall big mom got a, a little bit of rest and then went straight to the roof started fighting again and then fought again and then fought again like he's just been fighting and knocking everybody off of onigashima like we have we got to give him credit for that but i do agree with you that luffy should get credit too like luffy is hanging in there and he is adapting to, with a new skill he is also mm. he's also gotten knocked out three times <laughs> this arc like so i, yeah, I like yeah. I, I give luffy credit man like especially um learning rio the way he did in two weeks bro had two weeks of udon and, and, and pulled that together and then took that with the the conquerors seen it got hit with it a few times put two and two together with that so I gotta I gotta give him credit. I do agree he should get more credit, but I can't take Kaido's credit away either. Kaido has been fighting a lot of people, bro. So um I have to I have to give him credit for that. Um Agent with yeah, the ten dollars yeah. says, um, I agree if a person had the awakened Gomo Gomu uh no me or lost fruit, but they don't have uh hockey. A person with decent enough hockey can beat them. But if a person has a strong fruit plus hockey, it will make them better. I see the Simbi I Simbi, I disagree. I think if you take someone with Laws Awaken Fruit and they just fight somebody with decent hockey, I think they win. Oh, they clean. Like, I, I, I think they're clear. Yeah. I think they're clear. Like, I, I'm going to be honest. Like, in my opinion, uh, of course, if someone has a strong Devil Fruit and strong hockey, they're going to be better. But, I mean, look at Whitebeard, the world's strongest man, right? <laughs> what, did, what did he have, Sweaty? A really strong Devil Fruit and really yep. strong hockey you know what i mean so like yeah, of yeah. course of yeah, course you're going to be yeah, true. Yeah. of course you're going to be the goat if you got both <clears throat> um but I, I disagree i don't think someone with just decent hockey is beating somebody with a, a, a law awakening or a, go a luffy awakening i just disagree with that well, yeah, you know, let's be hold honest yeah, hold yeah. on what's a mastered hockey user you said what's sweaty my fault I said, you know, let's 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 set the you know let's set the boundary here. What do you classify as a um, you know somebody oh, who a, has mas a, a master hockey you, user? You're like a mastery over hockey because you know I don't think you should have to be advanced to be considered a a master of hockey. You know, the the, the Kuja pirates are quote their title are masters of hockey. At at best, you're going to say what three, four, maybe five of them have advanced forms of hockey. That's it. And yet they're they're famous for being advanced hockey users, well, or fa for, for being master masters, sorry, rather of of hockey, not advanced hockey users. Um, you know, so what, it, it depends completely on, on what you define as a master is, because according to Oda's yeah. definition, of, or at least what he's used to, to describe certain people, it's basically you you know the two basic forms of hockey to a to a to a level where you can utilize them in combat to your advantage. So if you if you know observation and advance and, and and armament to the level where you can use them in combat to your advantage, uh, and to to attack people, uh, to and, and to win a fight, then you are a um, hockey a hockey master. So that's that's a pretty low standard of bearing for a hockey master, though. But that's that's technically the only one we have in the story right now. No, I agree. I agree. I. I like i said I, I like i don't like the wording the wording you use simbi that's all it was like you said you said decent enough like that that doesn't sound like somebody that's really good with hockey that just sounds like a mediocre ass dude you know what i mean like the way you worded it well yeah everyone in the new world pretty by much. decent Every hockey users i mean world. people like Dolphy. i would i wouldn't classify the cool as decent hockey users but if you want to classify them as them by decent i meant very good people like katakuri uh advanced conquerors oh, okay so even dolphy i think dolphy i think awaken law is smoking dolphy bro no oh, bro it's not like, <laughs> like, it's like, it's like in my opinion oh, I, oh. I, in my opinion i think awaken law is is beating dolphy bro like i that's just how i feel that that's 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 how i feel about it like that, that that's just 
I don't know, man. I, I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> we got ten dollars from DTL. Says I mean, uh, after the Kaido speech, he basically said Garp was number one. He was tangling with all these guys with no fruit or weapon. Prime Garp is 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 a goat. But you know, can we go back to that real quick? Yeah, yeah. Um, so back to Kaido's bias. Um, I yeah. kind of have a theory that the bias like kind of stems from the God Valley incident, mm. given that the two people that were on the winning side were Garp and Roger, who didn't have devil fruits. Uh, okay, I like this. Yeah, I, I've heard this. I've heard this idea. So, um, yeah, I like this idea. So uh, what I'm thinking is that. We don't know exactly when Whitebeard got the girl girl, but I think that uh, Big Mom and Kaido both had their devil fruits by the time um, the God Valley incident happened. Well, no, so I I, I, I disagree with that point. Big Mom and- I mean, and we White don't know. Beard, maybe, I think, I, actually, I think that's very possible, but I think, I think Big Mom gives Kaido the fruit at God Valley. At God Valley? Yeah. Okay. Because she specifically says, "I it's it's a life it's a life debt it's a life uh, debt that you owe me," so it, that heavily implies it's not just the fact that she gave him the fruit that heavily implies she saved his life. Well, the only place that we can think of where his life could have been threatened, based off what we know so far, is God Valley. Big Mom said Kaido got his fruit after God Valley. Okay, that makes sense. She didn't say he got she she never said you got it after god valley but she she gave yeah she she clearly i'm pretty sure it said that she gave him the fruit at god valley yeah okay. i think it says she gave it to him at god valley i'm pretty sure but i yeah. I, I might be wrong or mi i might be wrong or misremembering but i think that's what it was regardless i do think that the bias comes from that incident given that mm. you know roger and garp smacked their ass with no devil fruit so you do you think rocks had a fruit? Possibly, I don't know. It's 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 up for discussion, but I think he did. Mm. What do you think, Sin? Do you think rocks had a fruit? Zebek, yeah, I do. I do, but I, that's just because I believe in the whole I believe in the whole Blackbeard thing. So I think he had the Yami, but yeah, that's what I yeah, believe too. Yeah, yeah, no, it, yeah, it makes a lot of sense for him to have the Yami. That, that's that's, that's the only reason why is because I think he it had the army, but I think it also makes sense because uh doesn't Blackbeard like idolize his man rocks? Yeah, like uh, yeah, he named his ship Saber of Zebek. Oh yeah, exactly. Uh, and he took over Fuller Lead, which was the, <laughs> the which was the Rocks Pirates location when they that's, were active. That's probably why Blackbeard wanted the Yami so bad. The one, the one, the one and we're getting completely off topic here, so obviously stop us if you want to sin. But the the one thing that I still can't put together about all of this, because I, I'm I firmly do not believe that Blackbeard is Rox's son before people start down that like, I just don't that, that to me thematically that doesn't make sense, right? Because fathers in One Piece uh, and following in your father's footsteps is it's actually a major thing in One Piece to, to not do that. Um so for me, Oops, right? No, but like a lot, a, a very popular theory is that Blackbeard is uh, Zebek's son. No, I just think that they just had the same devil fruit. It's yeah, not that but, deep, bro. But, but really what it deep. is, right, is that, but because because what you said, right, is that you think that Blackbeard went looking for, for Zebek's fruit, right? Because but, he wanted that same fruit. It's not, it's not no kin stuff. No, yeah, no, but what I mean is, but at the time of, of God Valley, right, which is the last time the fruit would have been used. Blackbeard would have been between 12 and 18 months old. So he he should have no understanding of what, what went on at God's Valley at all, right? So then it becomes a case of... Because it's not like a Robin thing where he's eight and he's on the run. You know, Robin, she's a kid, but she at least... She's aware, right? No no 12-month-old. And, and the other thing as well is that the whole possession thing is... Or re reborn thing is... That doesn't make sense because Blackbeard was already born. So this i feel like this there's, there's some piece of the puzzle that we're still obviously there's a lot we're missing but there's a really crucial piece of the puzzle that we're still missing with blackbeard and blackbeard and shanks as well that just doesn't fucking add up right now 
I don't know. Maybe he might have just, you know, read about the fruit itself, looked at other previous owners besides Rocks, either that or like probably overheard a conversation. Yeah, I just think, I think. That, Whitebeard. I don't know. Whitebeard, I think Whitebeard mentioned that he never yeah. spoke about Rocks, though, didn't he? That was said in a chapter. I don't know, he, man. I think, I think, I think we're just over, I think we're overthinking it a little bit. I think yeah, it's just more so, more so of a theory, but, yeah. um, to me, it just like it makes a lot of sense for Zebek to have had the fruit. I think Black. I don't think Blackbeard is Zebek's son, though. I don't. Well, but it, it, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying I'm not. I've never been like a, a big fan of that theory. But like, no, I, you know that's just me. Um, uh, Simpy says, "Oh yes, and I think current law can beat Dolphy, but law without hockey is losing because we know if you have enough hockey, you can negate lost fruit uh, shown on roof piece." Yeah, but oh, Dofi's nowhere near that level. Yeah, Dofi's not Big Mom and Kato level though. Also, also, I'm not. I don't. I, I don't think that the argument was someone that had like an awakened Devil Fruit and no hockey. That's not. I don't think this what we were saying. We were just saying someone that has an awakened Devil Fruit. Someone like Law, because Law has hockey, but Law doesn't have amazing hockey. He just has a really strong devil for that was more the argument we're making of like someone with with zero hockey and 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 a, a, an awakened devil fruit is a different conversation i don't even think that 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 doesn't even make sense i don't like it it would be hard for me to like in what world does that happen so what do you like somebody somehow awakens their devil fruit but has no understanding of hockey at all like that just seems unlikely you know what i, I mean? feel like the only case that you could have made for it possibly was a nil that yeah, maybe, maybe, case. maybe a nail, but like, but even then, even then, that's just cap because we know he has observation. Well, well, we know he has ops, but yeah, that, like, yeah. But, so uh, that's I just that's it, just cap. Yeah, that is cap straight from the start. Yeah, but, uh, but what I meant is that the only the only example would be uh, a low year I th is what I'm trying to say. So maybe a nail was a bad example because we yeah we know he had mantra, so we know he had ops. But, yeah. Um, but also, we know that he has no idea of the existence of armament because he didn't understand the concept of being hit. So, uh, yeah, I think I think maybe also also here. also it was yeah yeah. Todd brings up a good point. Also, with shambles that got that was getting negated, his awakening it it, it bypass it. From what I've seen, it seems to bypass the hockey defense. Yeah, it does. So, Chrome can do things. He says I can do what in Chrome what I couldn't do in room. Yeah, exactly. What, what, so, so yeah. Kroom is just a different, which is why I just think he beats Dolphy in my opinion. But Kroom yeah. is different than, than Room. But that's just my opinion on that. Um, hey, yeah, overall, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Jay. Is it relevant um, to this? Because if not, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this this recording. No, no, no it's, it's it's relevant. It's okay, relevant. all right. Um, so do you think that awakening a devil fruit would be impossible without a basic understanding of hockey? No, I, nah, I, actually, I don't. Uh, I've got a really good point on this, actually. Uh, or I've got a question. Uh, I'm hoping you guys can answer, right? So it kind of ties into that. Do you think... So the, the other thing is, apart from maybe... Obviously, I, you know, I, I mentioned before about I thought Kylo has bias. If it's not that, do you think that maybe what it is, is that if you get a fruit, it slows down your haki development? Mm. So you, you can't reach the peak of haki because you have to dedicate some of your time to your fruit, or to, to you know, trying to awaken your fruit, trying to control your fruit. And actually, the, the 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 stronger the fruit is, the more time you actively have to spend trying to put effort into your fruit. So that's time that's then taken away from your ability to to. to I, I would say I would say no, only because we had we have Katakuri who has a special paramecia that has advanced hockey we have luffy with a mythical zone so his fruit is very powerful and he has advanced hockey we have kaido with a mythical zone and a very powerful fruit that has advanced hockey like there, there's just people with very strong fruits big mom that have advanced hockey too so i i, I would say no like i don't think i don't think so okay but playing devil's advocate right it took luffy uh what 16 years to awaken his fruit no sorry 14 it took, it took luffy 14 years to awaken his fruit it took him two weeks to learn advanced armament no it what took, i'm saying it took like, him two fights to learn advanced conquerors it took him one fight to learn advanced observation none of these things that he knew existed before before he was getting hit by them or he witnessed them personally now i understand luffy's the i don't luffy's i think okay i okay i think that just goes into what you choose to spend your time on 
but I don't think it's because of the fruit. I think it might just be, it, it, it could be the fruit, but not because of the fruit, if that makes sense. Like the fruit is causing them to like spend time on their, like thinking about their fruit, which is keeping them from less, t less time that they're spending on training their hockey. So I feel like yes and no, like it's not the fruit itself inherently like slowing down their hockey, like, uh, learning hockey, it, but it could slow them down in the sense that, oh, they just decided to spend more time learning about their fruit instead of spending time learning about hockey. All right. So what I'm saying is, would you need to have prerequisite a basic understanding of hockey to awaken your devil fruit? No, absolutely. Categorically, no, I don't think so. I think it's unlikely that people just that get to that level of fruit wouldn't have hockey, but I don't think you have to hundred percent. You don't have to know what hockey is though waking your fruit i don't think there's no there's no science pointing towards that there, there is yeah there's literally nothing that we know about hockey so any, swag, in, swag, in swaggy program. yes i'm swaggy i understand that you could train both i'm just saying that it is a possibility and we know that you could train both because luffy literally has spent time training his devil fruit and also when he found out about hockey just trained his hockey like you can train both but what i think sweaty was trying to say is this it could happen with it could be a th case where with certain people their fruit they're just spending so much time thinking about their fruit that they just aren't really thinking about their hockey like they might get a basic understanding of hockey and just leave it at that and then try to maximize their fruit and then not think about the other side like i think yeah. that's what that's what he was saying but of course yeah. you can train both it's just how you exactly. want to spend your time you know what i'm saying but yeah. And also the other, yeah, it, you're completely right. That is what I was trying to say. And the other part of what, what I was trying to say is, we know it takes a lot longer to train a fruit than it takes to train hockey. Oh yeah, hundred percent. This man Luffy learned Rio in two weeks. This man he, yeah. he learned advanced conquerors by getting hit by with it a couple times. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> like once you once you got a ba I feel like once you get the basic uh, in two years, he had a full understanding of hockey. Yeah, where it, it took, it took him, it took him a billion years to get <laughs> to yeah. awaken his devil fruit. So, and Law and Kid too, they did. It, it don't seem like they had their devil fruits awaken long. You know what I mean? Like Dolphy, like it looked like they awakened their fruits later in life. You oh, know what I'm saying? I don't think we have anybody who said it's taken them less than ten years to awaken a fruit. I don't think there's anybody that's ever. Yeah, I don't think there's a single person in the story whose fruit time that we're aware yeah. of had it for less than ten years. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna be honest though. People have people show signs of using hockey really early in life. Like people, be. people even be people even be using hockey like like indirectly by accident. Niggas just stumble yeah. in. Niggas be stumbling yeah. into using hockey sometimes. Like it, like, it, 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 it is clearly it, ace, it is clearly easier to use hockey than to awaken the devil fruit. Yeah, I Aisha, Aisha and Skype here. Yeah. She's eight. She's she's using like a, a, a version that appears to be ob, ob, uh, advanced observation hockey yeah. she's eight like uh, yeah, an, an awakened an, 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 an awakened devil fruit is supposed to be special that's why it takes so long to get to there like niggas just be using hockey by accident bro like like anyone in the world has potential to use hockey i think i'm pretty sure right like anyone can, has the potential yeah. to learn it at least the basic levels uh any person every person in the world has access to armament and observation yeah so it's just like everyone. of course it's going to take longer for the awakening to like that yeah, just I, that just is common sense and also as people are putting in the chat as, as i was trying to uh, mention before kobe Co kobe kobe had what uh, four months training and then he awoke and then he woke into observation hockey and then over the course of the time skip he got to a level where he became famous for holding off law just with hockey yeah i just i just feel like it's just People should not just be awakening their devil fruits fast. That to me, that doesn't no. make sense. No, I don't, and I, I don't, I don't think Sabo should awaken his fruit at all. No, I, I hate. It. Honestly, I'm gonna no, be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be no honest. Way. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think Sabo should awaken his fruit, and I, and I don't think he will awaken his fruit. And that's my opinion on that. I really, there to me, there's no need for him to do that, and I don't think he should. I think it doesn't make sense that he sh that he awakens his fruit fast. Like it that does not make sense to me. Everyone else has awakened their fruits after multiple, multiple years of having it. That, that doesn't make sense to me that he should just learn it in, in, in less than a year. Like, that doesn't make sense. No. Ace shouldn't have 
waking the fruit, let alone Sabo. Like Ace had the fruit fruit for a couple of years. Ace didn't have the fruit long enough to awaken it, let alone Sabo, who's had it for like what three weeks by this point in time. Like it's really yeah, it doesn't make it just doesn't make sense to me. I, 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 <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I, I it just to me it doesn't make sense. But that that, that y'all can say what y'all want, but it doesn't make sense to me. I, like that doesn't make sense. No one has awakened the fruit that fast. Why is Sabo the special guy that gets to awaken this fruit in less than a year? Like I don't. Plus the only year to like ten years, right? Yeah. yeah, like I said, I don't think we we know of anybody whose fruit time length or duration that had yeah, the fruit. I, I don't think we know anybody who's had it for less than a decade. The only one, right? The only one that I could actually let go of Blackbeard. Uh, it's, it's Blackbeard, and it wouldn't even be the yummy. I think that when he took whitebeard's fruit he took it in its awakened state and i think he got to keep because yeah. i think the whole pulling not the quaking obviously because that is the power of the fruit but the whole ripping and tearing and creating the platforms in the sea and all of that i think that is the awakened version of that fruit yeah. also also i think it's just obvious that blackbeard has a different understanding of devil fruits than everyone else yeah and like in my in my opinion i feel like he has a, and he has a different body like there's just there's other variables with blackbeard i but, think with blackbeard um it might be like the same thing where instead of like well he could just like learn techniques just by looking at it similar to like what luffy does and that's how he learned the pull thing yeah i like i like how you said that basically like how um vegapunk would learn it by science he just learned that shit naturally i don't know i, I look at okay this is why this is why i feel this way about awakening well first off let me just pre prerequisite this with we don't know like what goes into awakening a devil fruit yet we don't really know like what's the process or how it happens yet we just don't know um but, words. yeah but i, I do want to say this to me the under my understanding of devil fruit awakening thus far just from how we've been seeing it is that it takes a mastery of the fruit in the sense of having the fruit and understanding every intricacy to the fruit to the point where you're woke to the fruit in my sense and I've, I've explained this before like you just become awakened in, in the sense of being in tune with the fruit which yeah. that why i in feel like kaido, it's which is kaido say that? Mm, i'm I saying kaido basically kaido basically said that like when you're like mind and body or whatever are aligned yeah, yeah basically yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. exactly it yeah. goes into i didn't i didn't even know the nigga said that i'm gonna be honest but i've been saying that before he I, he said that but like yeah that makes even more sense i'm glad kato said it because that kind of solidifies what i've been saying yeah sabo has not had the fruit that long and it's not like he's been around ace to see him using the fruit why yeah. like how like i just don't understand like him having the fruit in such little time being able to be able to learn the every intricacy of that fruit and and, and cannot connect his body and mind in a way which he would awaken the fruit that fast like I don't, I just don't understand. I don't understand how that would happen. Like I don't understand how that would happen or how that could make sense. It does, like it doesn't make sense. Like everyone else has had to have their fruit for a long time before awakening it. Why is Sabo the special guy that just somehow has the fruit for a small amount of time and just awakens it? But he, he's just a special guy. He gets to come back from death. He I don't I don't understand I, that, that's all he, I, that's, all, that's all that's all I'm saying about it it has nothing to do with how I feel about Sabo I just don't well, that just doesn't Sabo make sense right. like but it, it, yeah it, it, there's there is literally no reason to do it because if if you want to get Sabo up more uh that then the fact that he has got the mirror mirror then you just show that he has advanced versions of Haki you show he has advanced versions of Haki. I mean I think we've already seen him use Rio right yeah um so, I yeah think so. his dragon claw is real the dragon claw is real so why do we need to guess him? i don't know that's just that's just my opinion on it though i, I like i said i'm not saying i'm right but that's just how i feel about it